So good morning everyone. I am going to present for the theme three energy storage. Uh, so the main objective and deliverables of uh, my work is as to develop a robust controller for bat battery energy storage system of an islanded AC microbit that will mainly assist in frequency regulation of the system, voltage quality enhancement of the system as per IEEE standards, dealing with variation in the system operating conditions like uh, various uncertainties related to generation load, etc. And the last, guarantee the system stability and performance for bounded operating condition variations. And what it is, I will explain in my further slide. So starting with the motivation, the grid forming unit is the fundamental requirement of an islanded microgrid system because they don't have any uh, um, cell voltage and frequency support for themselves. So therefore a grid forming unit is very much important for an islanded microgrid system. However, the battery energy storage system are preferred for handling sudden variations in operating conditions over diesel engine generators as they are having slow response time or renewable energy resources due to their intermittent nature. So in a battery energy storage system, the change in output frequency and deceiling voltage indicates a mismatch between the generated power and the load demand. And therefore, it is very much important to regulate the DC link voltage. So how the deceiling voltage can be regulated? It can be regulated with the help of a DC-DC converter and with proper control architecture. But there is a requirement that it should be maintained within specified bounds. For example, if over voltage scenario happens, then there is a uh, uh, then it may uh, hamper the safety of the converter power semiconductor switches or the DC link capacitor itself. And if there is under voltage scenario with the DC link, then it may uh, include low order uh, harmonics into the voltage signal uh, due to the over modulation. So therefore, it is very much important to regulate the DC link voltage within specified bounds. Now. In general, uh, classical proportional integral controllers are preferred uh, for controlling the DC link voltage, but they are designed for a specified operating condition, but therefore they cannot handle variations in system operating condition. And for that reason, advanced controllers are very much important. And this work motivates for design of a robust controller. So starting with the battery energy storage system, so a battery uh, battery supplies to the rest of the network with the help of a DC-DC converter and voltage source converter. Now this DC-DC converter, where this uh, is having a bidirectional property, so that is the battery discharges itself uh, when the switch S2 is closed, that is operate in a boost operation and battery charges itself when uh, the switch S is uh, closed, that is it is operating in a buck mode. So for this work, especially the boost operation, that is the discharge mode of operation of the battery is of much concern as it is connected in the islanded system and uh, with the base assumption that the entire uh, net load of the system is always, uh, um, means it's always the net generation and the net load. So means the uh, solar PV panel and the uh, other renewable energy resources are considered as uh, the negative load and the net load is always uh, positive. It is assumed that the net load is always positive. So therefore the discharge operation is uh, more concerned and therefore the boost converter controller has been designed for this work. So for this, uh, a control architecture, which is the most common cascaded tool of control architecture has been adopted with the inner loop, uh, uh, inner loop is, uh, uh, controlling the battery output current that is IL and the outer loop is controlling the battery uh, deceiling voltage that is VDC. Now the main task of this work is to design the C in and C out controller and which is uh, adopting the basic proportional integral controller only but it has to be designed in a robust manner. So for that a small signal AC model has been uh, considered which includes the battery dynamics while designing the boost uh, controller, while designing the controller of the boost uh, converter. So by utilizing these equations, a state space model for the battery and the boost converter has been developed. 
next is uh, after the state space model is already developed the uh, now once the nominal plant is available with us then we go for uh, finding out the parameters which are varying with the system operating uh, condition variations for example when there whenever there is any disturbance in the system the decelling voltage varies the duty ratio varies the uh, battery output current varies so uh, based on that uh, concept uncertain parameters are selected and they and those uncertain parameters are placed in the plant transfer function which we obtained which is shown in fig, uh, equation 5 now once the uncertain parameters are obtained their associated range are uh, achieved based on the practical limitations of the uh, voltage source converters boost converter and the battery capacity so once this uncertain plant model is achieved then the robustness analysis of this uncertain plant model is carried out with the help of the m delta structure shown in figure 3 now what is this m delta structure the equation 5 this is the this tells us the plant model nominal plant model now this with the uncertain parameters in it now this plant model is converted to the m delta structure by uh, pulling out the uncertain parameters and placing it in this delta structure which is representing a block diagonal which, which is represented as a block diagonal matrix where each element is representing a different source of uncertainty and then this g of s then represent the nominal system and this c of r s represent the controller structure so in this way the m delta structure is achieved so once this m delta structure is achieved then we move ahead for the robust stability analysis of the controller design and for that we have to uh, uh, for that we utilize the structured singular value that is mu and uh, utilizing that structure singular value over the m transfer function obtained we achieve a robust stability margin that is known as the rm and when this robust stability margin is achieved greater than 1 then we can say that uh, for the proposed controller our system is robust stable for all the possible plants in this uncertain set so therefore once the robust stability analysis is achieved based on equation 7 and 8 then we move ahead for the robust performance analysis now for this work uh, uh, be uh, now for different performance specifications can be uh, selected for uh, this work i have selected that uh, maximum voltage variation dieseling voltage variation and maximum recovery time so these two parameters are selected as the performance specifications uh, for this work so now the main concern is to achieve guaranteed performance for all the possible plants in the system so for that we design the controller and check it for the worst case plant possible in the system and the worst case plant is achieved with the help of the structured singular value and the worst case gain associated with that worst case plant known as the wg when it is achieved less uh, when it fulfills uh, satisfies the equation number 10 where mp indicates the maximum peak overshoot that is the maximum voltage variation associated with the dieseling voltage so when these performance are achieved then we can say that our controller has achieved robust stability and robust performance so now the overall uh, uh, work has been summarized through this flow chart so first of all we will start and we will formulate the state space model of the battery energy storage system then the next step we will uh, select the uncertain pa model parameters once then uh, then we will define the range of that uncertain parameters and it could be defined based on various parameters i have done based on practical limitations of the converters and then uh, choose the nominal plant model nominal plant model can be chosen based on the mean values of the range we have considered for our parametric variations then once the nominal plant model is available with us we will design the controller for that nominal plant system based on frequency loop shaping technique and once this controller is available with us we will check for its nominal stability and nominal perform performance which we have decided 
and we then check that whether it is satisfied. If no, then we will again design the nominal controller. And if it is satisfied, then we will move ahead for uh, deriving our uncertain plan model. So once the uncertain plan model is derived, we will design the controller associated with it. And then we will check the equation eight and N 10 indicates the robust stability and robust performance criteria. If it is not satisfied, then we will again design the controller. And if it is satisfied, then our final proposed robust controller is ready with us. So it is uh, done on the offline mode. So this uh, reduces a lot of computation burden on the system. So once the ro proposed uh, robust controller parameters are available with us, we will try to test it on a microgrid test system. And here a benchmark FIGRE low voltage AC microgrid has been adopted with a battery energy storage system, solar PV panel and micro turbine as the generation sources with their respective ratings as shown in table one and their control strategies is also mentioned here. The load demands are uh, also specified in table one. And the table two indicates what are the test uh, means parameter values selected for the battery boost converter and the range of parametric uncertainties selected for various uncertain parameters. So once uh, this test system is there, we will now uh, do the performance analysis of the proposed controller. And starting with the sensitivity analysis. In general, the associated state variables um, with the particular modes, Aiken values, uh, is obtained by sensitivity analysis. And for the nominal uh, plant, the sensitivity analysis is achieved with the help of a participation factor, which is shown in figure six, which tells us the relative activity between the states and the eigenvalues. So once uh, in general, the, if the negative real parts of the eigenvalues, uh, if we are having negative real parts for all the eigenvalues, then our system is said to be stable. So now coming over to the uncertain plan model and when the sensitivity analysis is carried over it with the help of a Monte Carlo simulation approach. And in this work uh, is considered all the uncertain parameters are selected randomly over their boundaries, from their boundaries. And then we are checking for all the possible eigenvalues of the system. And in figure seven, we can observe that uh, in here 10 to the power six uh, cases is uh, simulated and we observe that for all those cases all the eigenvalues are having negative real parts so therefore we can guarantee that uh, the for, with the proposed robust controller the system is robust stable for all possible plants in the entire uncertainty set so after the sensitivity analysis is achieved, then we will move uh, after the robust stability is achieved, then we will move ahead for the robust performance analysis of the proposed controller. So starting with uh, load switching impact analysis, in this, uh, in figure eight, uh, there are uh, in general in distribution system, there is a 30% to 40% load switching happens. For this heavy load switching impact has been shown here with 50%, 62% load switching and 76% load switching. From the figure, we can observe this in uh, figure 8a, the deceiling voltage for 50% and 62%, it is within boundaries and the boundaries are 600 and 800 volt. And the desired performance is achieved. And for uh, this system, the performance, that is the deceiling voltage variation should be within plus minus 10%. And the maximum recovery time should be within 100 milliseconds. So this performance specification is achieved for 50% switching and 62% switching. However, this is not achieved for the 76% switching because during the switching event, our uh, system is that is deceiling voltage and the current is getting unbounded. And therefore, even after the load is removed, our system, the, pro the controller cannot maintain, can cannot maintain the stability or cannot bring back the stability to the system. So this has been shown with this load switching impact analysis and we can observe in, uh, in figure C and D that the frequency and the voltage is also regulated as per IEEE standards. However, it is uh, not uh, achieved for 
76% switching because the duty ratio gets saturated and now further no control action will take place to regulate the deceiling voltage or battery output current that is IS. So uh, next uh, test case is fault impact analysis. In this uh, uh, different short circuit Re fault. Shreshi, can you complete yes, in two minutes? Yes, sir, yes, sir. it's like ah, that. So regarding this deceiling voltage, uh, the different short circuit fault has been considered and which we can observe here that the during fault period, if the system is remain bounded, then post fault scenario will give us desired performance specifications. However, for example, in AVC with AVC fault scenario, during fault, the system is gets unbounded and therefore even after the fault is cleared our uh, neither robust stability is achieved neither robust performance is achieved so uh, this controller behaves in this way with the faults in the system and finally the last one is the performance comparison has been carried out with the benchmark uh, uh, proportional integral controllers and we, uh, for generation uncertainty and load uncertainty for two cases and we can observe that uh, the proposed controllers with blue uh, dotted line shows better performance as compared to the classical PI controller for uh, sudden operating condition variations. And regarding the first thing mentioned in uh, first slide that the voltage quality enhancement is all, also achieved, which can be explained uh, through this figure uh, C and D that the total harmonic distortion associated with the voltage signal is very less for a proposed controller as compared to the PI controller in case of generation uncertainty and load uncertainty. So in this way, all the uh, objectives have been achieved with the help of the pro 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 uh, proposed controller. So finally, um, I would uh, add on the next future task which uh, need to be carried out that the longer term impact analysis on battery capacity and battery lifetime for parallel operation of battery energy storage systems. Now here I have considered only one battery energy storage system and uh, the next task will be networking of island and microgrids with battery energy storage systems as mainly grid forming units so that the frequency and voltage regulation as per IEEE standards can be achieved. So thank you, that's all from my side.